Today, we are doing a 15-minute in-depth analysis of some of the most challenging parasite cases I have ever seen. As a pet care expert, I will be critiquing everything. Today, we are doing a 15-minute in-depth analysis of some of the most challenging parasite cases I have ever seen. As a pet care expert... Okay, let's look at our first case. This is a severe chronic infestation. What's critical here is the location. These ticks are deep inside the ear canal and clustered around the eyes. This is incredibly painful and poses a high risk of permanent damage, like deafness or blindness. This animal is certainly suffering from anemia. You can see the lethargy and weakness. This is a life-threatening situation. Now, let's analyze their removal technique. They are using forceps and hep. This is the standard method for embedded ticks. Let's watch closely. They are grasping the tick right at the skin, at the head. This is perfect. You never want to squeeze the tick's body, as that can inject bacteria back into the host. They are pulling straight up, firmly and steadily. No twisting. This is a professional 10-10 removal. This requires immense patience, especially with hundreds of them. Okay, the scene has switched. This looks like a flea infestation, or perhaps tick larvae. They are using a fine-toothed metal comb. This is the most effective tool for this scenario. You simply cannot remove 10,000 tiny fleas one by one. This combing technique physically removes the parasites and their feces, which is that black dirt you see. This is incredibly satisfying and provides immediate relief to the animal. Ah. And here is a third technique. This is a tick twister or tick key. I love these tools. They are fantastic for pet owners. You slide the fork under the tick's body and twist. This twisting motion makes the tick's mouth parts release safely, guaranteeing you get the head every time. A very safe and effective method, especially for large engorged ticks. Now we're looking at a different case. This appears to be a stray dog. The team is muzzling the dog first. This is a critical safety step I always look for. This dog is terrified and in pain, and it will bite to protect itself. A muzzle protects everyone and allows the team to work effectively. This is a sign of a professional, experienced rescue team. They are now beginning the removal process, starting with the most painful areas around the face. After the physical removal, you'll see them start the bathing process. This isn't a normal bath. It's a medicated bath. The shampoo contains an insecticide to kill any parasites they missed, and it also soothes the raw, inflamed skin. Look at the water. It's often red or brown. That's not just blood from the dog. It's the flea dirt, digested blood, washing off, showing how severe the infestation was. Now this is the most important part of the treatment. See that IV line in the dog's leg? This dog is suffering from severe anemia and dehydration. It could die even after all the ticks are gone. This IV is providing life-saving fluids, nutrients, and possibly antibiotics. This is the critical medical care that happens off camera, and it's just as important as the removal itself. And here, this is the moment it's all for. Look at the transformation. The same dog, now clean, healthy, and happy. The light is back in its eyes. This is the result of all that hard work, patience, and medical care. It's an incredible recovery. Analyzing these cases shows us how dangerous parasites are, but also how resilient these animals can be. The most important lesson for everyone at home? Prevention. A simple, affordable monthly medication from your vet can prevent all of this. Please protect your pets. Thanks for watching.